news. Today is October 15th, 2020. First up, some reminders about Zoom. Please make sure your webcam is on so your teachers can see you. And also, don't forget to stay muted until your teacher calls on you. Let's go to Ms. Macias for another Zoom tech tip. Today, I'm going to show you how to split your screen. So let's say your teacher is on Zoom and they're sharing their screen and they want you to follow along and do your work at the same time. You would need to split your screen. So we're going to use the brackets and Alt to move Zoom to one side and then Google Slides to the other side. So you would move Zoom by using Alt and the left bracket and that would send it to the left side. You would then click on your Google tab and you would go again Alt and the right bracket and it would move it over to the right hand side and now you're able to follow along with your teacher as they share their screen. Thank you Ms. Macias for the Zoom Tech tip. Let's go to Anthony to hear about some TVP school announcements. Thank you Junior. Did you know every Wednesday TVP distributes meals for a week? Every Wednesday morning from 7 to 8.30 a.m. you can pick up breakfast, lunch, and dinner for all students under 18 in your family. Check the Two Inch Palms Facebook page or the Two Inch Palms Class Dojo page to see the menu. Now let's go to Mr. Mathis and Mr. Adrian to hear a special announcement. Hello boys and girls, I'm here with Mr. Adrian and we wanted to encourage you to come to the assembly that we're going to have that's going to talk about the Pyramid of Success. So this is the same Pyramid of Success that we have been learning about every week during our social emotional learning lessons that we're having in the middle of the day. And it's been really exciting how many of you have been coming and learning about the different building blocks and we're working our way through the pyramid of success. So I really hope that you will come and join us this afternoon. And I'm very excited because like Mr. Mathis said, we have a special guest and that special guest is Steve Lavin. And he actually coached basketball at UCLA which is where Coach Wooden also coached basketball. So I'm very looking forward to what he has to say because he's very knowledgeable and he helped coach his uh, players using the pyramid of success so they all reach their personal best. So I'm very looking forward to it and I hope you boys and girls join us at 1.15 on Monday because it's going to be a lot of fun and it's going to be very informative. I think we're going to get a lot out of it. See you then. Bye, right, boys and girls. See you then. Thank you, Mr. Mathis and Mr. Adrian. Report card distribution pickup will be on Thursday, October 29th from 4.30 to 6 p.m. Our TBP parent teacher group, PTG, has Halloween goodie bags and pedometers for our virtual walking challenge in November. Please pick up your student's report card so you can have it handy during parent conference week. Parent conferences will be held on November 2nd through November 6th. Thank you, Anthony, for those important reminders. One last reminder is you can watch the Virtual Friday Awards Assembly every Friday live at 3.15 on YouTube or anytime you like after it is posted. Follow Denise Fenton's YouTube channel to catch the Friday Awards Assembly every Friday at 3.15. You know, Ms. Fenton, I'm really frustrated because we have students who are not attending their afternoon asynchronous time. I know, it's really frustrating because that's the time when teachers can help them the most or can challenge them if they're above grade level and give them exciting and fun projects to do. And, and for a kid to uh, just at grade level or, or not, this is when you get, get some extra help. Mm. A student knows that they're not really reading at grade level and they're not going, it's not going to come automatically. And this is the time when teachers can help them. And they're frustrated too. I, I've talked to a lot of teachers. They're really sad because they're in the classroom waiting for students to come to teach them in a small group. Gosh, if I could get help in a class of 27 and then in the afternoon be with my teacher and maybe three or four other students to get some help. That would be awesome. It could really learn a lot at that time. Exactly. And, you know, one of the things that I'm 
not happy about is that kids are taking it upon themselves to just check out and not be at school. School is over at 3.30, yeah. just like it always was. Maybe we should pull up the schedule and look at it. Okay, you have it? I have it right here. So here's the schedule, Monday through Friday. And we start school at 8.40 to 8.45 with Inner Explorer. Mm -hmm. And then from 8.45 to 9.45, most of our students are doing a pretty good job at coming to ELA during the synchronous time when the whole class is with them. Yes, they are. But I've heard some kids go to recess at 9.45 and don't come back at 10 o'clock. Oh, so they're not uh, getting their math instruction. Right, because math, math is really yeah. important. Yeah, and math is from 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock. Right. Then our English learners come back to school from 11 o'clock to 11.30 for designated ELD. Right, and then they have their prep, so they have music, PE, library. Right. Social emotional learning with Mr. Adrian and Mr. Mathis. They do some fun stuff. They do do some great stuff. And Miss Brooks has got a new curriculum for music that's supposed to be really great. And our PE teachers have worked really hard at getting some lessons to get kids moving. And, and then Ms. John and then Miss Lynn has great activities where she's reading stories to kids and has a whole that whole Google classroom where they can listen to stories and stuff. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And they're getting um, a full hour for lunch. Yeah, I wish we had a full hour for lunch. <laughs> but see that that group in the afternoon, 115 to 330. There it is right there. 330. That's when school is out. Not before then. So Okay, on the schedule, asynchronous or small group instruction. So the asynchronous time is when they should be doing independent work because the teacher is teaching another small group, just like in the classroom when they have centers, right? Right, so when we're in the classrooms, the teacher's pulling small groups to a table. Instead, this now they're pulling small groups back into the Zoom meeting. So just like when we're in the classroom, Teachers are pulling a small group. They're working with four or five kids. And the rest of the students are doing dream box or a center or playing a game or finishing work that they needed to finish. Imagine learning. Imagine learning is a big one. And imagine, right. we have imagine literacy and imagine math. And now the teachers are introducing that math, imagine math facts. That looks like a lot of fun. So, that small group instruction time in the afternoon is really important. We need the student to attend their group and to get the asynchronous work done, at least to be putting their best effort into it. Yeah, otherwise they're not gonna be ready for next year. It'd be a shame if they had to stay and repeat a grade level just because they chose not to do their asynchronous work. Or they'll be behind and they'll struggle in school when if they just put a little effort in now, it won't be as hard for them later. That's right. So I hope they get the message. I really hope they decide to go to asynchronous, asynchronous and small group time and get that work done.